Well, I don't normally do a project and process because there's always a mess and it'd be kind of like watching grass grow. But this light project has turned into quite a problem. I normally make the receiver rods out of some bar stock and I take and machine down to a point there and then drill some holes in the end. But what's happened is my uh, lathe, both of the belts deteriorated. They consider the machine to be obsolete. Just luckily I got some belts that worked. And then I went to turn it on and guess what? The power switch crapped out. So it's going to be a while before I get the rods done. But anyway, we've got some of it done. I'll take and show that to you now. Okay, the part I did get done was one of the transmitters. And what you see here is a slightly modified SEC Exciter L3 coil. And then this clip, which the L3 coil connects to. And it also then clips onto the ground rod this way. And so at least that's done, and it would be sitting up here like this. Normally, obviously, you'd enclose it in a box to protect it from the weather. But that's kind of how that assembles. You don't want to get the coil, the L3 coil, too close to the board because of the feedback problems. But I've got that done anyway. And next, I've got to work here on the, the Stifler loop and get it mounted up and again I'm going to mount it up on on some of this plastic and then the holes I drill in the, the receiver rods taken mount to the plastic so it's all one unit you can take it and jab it in the ground if the ground is that soft one thing I wanted to show you before I I left on that is if you do any SMD work you already know about these but these little tweezers are fantastic. Uh, for checking diodes, like in the Stifler loop, it's so much faster than using a DVM or a DMM. And this tweezer here actually has a meter, a voltmeter in it that goes up to 36 volts. Measures inductance, uh, resistance, voltage, and capacitance. This one measures just uh, resistance capacitance, no induction, and it does do a continuity check, but they are fantastic little instruments if you ever want to uh, pick up something that's fast, and, or you do SMD work, you'll know about it. Okay, that's all there is for now. We'll, uh, we'll keep you informed on how the project's going.